myself, um, it, it's too soon to say exactly how the elections will unfold in January. Uh, as history has shown, uh, virtually anything is possible in, under Bangladeshi politics. Um, however, we know that opposition leader uh, Khalida Zia met with Bangladesh's uh, uh, Sheikh Hasina two, two days ago, I believe, uh, in which apparently some encouraging words uh, came out, maybe a step forward. But at the same time, there was, uh, they split uh, without an agreement, and and uh, and 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 uh, Khalida Zia still demands that uh, Prime Minister Hasina step down from office, and that a, a caretaker government uh, be put in place to oversee the national elections. Um, Mr. Sifton, you kind of already gave your analysis of what might happen. I'd be interested to see what Dr. Rios and, and uh, Major Muniz Rizaman. Uh, could uh, what, what do you how do you think what is the most likely scenario uh, in in your opinions to play out here? If you had if you had to what, what do you think is the most likely? And if you could put your mic on, thank you. I mean, lately the meeting between uh, opposition leader and the president. The president has a very limited constitutional power. Uh, and in that case, uh, how much you would be able to intervene in this kind of situation is not very clear. Previous situations in the history tells that it is not. But he has a moral power. There is no doubt in my mind that the president does carry some moral power if he wants to. They are very limited constitutional one. Uh, and going forward, uh, in terms of these three scenarios that I mentioned, uh, I am not very much optimistic about an inclusive election at this point unless something dramatic happens. And that is what uh, I was suggesting, that at least some form of accommodations of the opposition's demands, including at least a cabinet not headed by the incumbent PM, prime minister would be an option, or deferral of the election. But likely scenario is a non-inclusive election that Bangladesh is going to experience. I wish that I'm wrong, but uh, uh, as of today, that's what it looks like. Thank you. General? Thank you, Chairman. My first uh, scenario is that Prime Minister Hasina will try and push towards a one-party election with disastrous consequences for the country, because if she does that, then the country will move in the path of instability, because the post-election violence is going to be even higher than the pre-election violence. The second option that I see is that if she finds it ex absolutely difficult to push towards a one-party election, which is her first desire, then she will probably ask the president to declare a state of emergency by which she can stall the elections, buy more time for herself, and perhaps think that she can bid up on the opposition and civil society to soften the stand and then come back to elections maybe after a year or a year and a half. Mm -hmm. The third option that I see is that the level of violence goes so high that the military reluctantly is sucked into the process to restore some bit of stability in the country and provide security to its citizens. But that is the third option that I see. But in total, uh, the current government's stand in trying to solve the problem doesn't seem to be apparent because Prime Minister, in the last uh, couple of days in forming the, the so-called interim government, has shown that she does not really care about what sort of accommodation is needed to solve the problem. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Sifton, let me ask you, having heard the, the two comments there, um, what, would, uh, what do you think the, the U.S. and the world's response ought to be, either in advance of the election or afterwards, depending on which option occurs? Well, in the coming weeks and months, um, just because the leadership of the UAMI League so far has not uh, heeded the warnings that so many people have given, doesn't mean the message shouldn't continue to be delivered. Mm -hmm. I think at some point, Sheikh Hasina will have to come to terms with the reality that if she forces through a one-party government, uh, that it will only lead to unended, open-ended protests, which will put at stake everything that Bangladesh wants and needs right now. She may not realize it today, but she eventually will have to realize it. The question is, will it be too late by the time she realizes it? So in any case, I, I think the message just needs to be brought again and again and again. She does not have within her own 
cabinet and government, enough people telling her what to do. Okay. Thank you. My time has expired. Uh, the gentlelady from California is recognized for five minutes. Hawaii. That's, uh, Hawaii. I apologize. We are out west. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere out there. Uh, thank